Welcome to Lick My Lick, Volume 4. This example is based in two different modes. We'll first approach the first bit that's in F sharp mixolydian around this chord. The mixolydian scale or mode um, is like a major scale, but it doesn't have a major seventh, instead, it has the flattened seventh, a uh, minor seventh. So it's an F sharp mixolydian, and it would be the root note, major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, and minor seventh. So to get a mixolydian sound, the chord that I play is this one. It's like an F sharp major, but we have the two open strings, the two up upper open strings. It's an E and a B. The chord that adds, adds in here is an F sharp major with a dominant 7 and the 11th. So when I'm playing over a mixolydian uh, backing track, I, um, a nice approach, an easy approach, is imagining your minor pentatonic scale but just changing the minor third to a major third. I've heard some other guys call it the mixolydian pentatonic or dominant pentatonic, but it doesn't really matter how you call it, and le at least um, if you know how it's gonna sound. That's the most important thing. So it would be this. So the first beat of this lick is like this. around this scale. Very easy. Then it changes to the Lydian sound and when I'm over the Lydian sound I think as well in a pentatonic scale but this time I change. If you're thinking about the minor pentatonic I change the third, the fourth and the seventh to get the Lydian sound because the Lydian scale is just like a major scale but you change um, the fourth, you sharpen the fourth, so you get this, the root, major second, major third, sharp four, perfect fifth, major sixth, and major seventh. And the pentatonic I'm looking at is this one. It, it will be the root, major third, sharp four, perfect fifth, Major 7th and the root again. In that way you can get all the kind of Lydian sounding, sounding notes in a very nice and easy way. So, <clears throat> the first thing I do in the Lydian pattern, it will be um, E major 7 arpeggio in this. Very easy. And then I repeat it in the following octaves. And I land on the sharp 11 to give the Lydian sound. So it's just a major 7 arpeggio, but it start with um, a small chromatic approach in here. Whoops, sorry. Okay, so after the arpeggios, when I finish with the last one, I land on the sharp and 11th to get the Lydian sound and I do this phrase. And then I just do the pentatonic pattern I taught you before. 
but I add some nice lights to make it more interesting. So the slides go up to the 23rd fret and then back. I'll do it again slowly. upwards to um, to get to the mixolydian part again so that's again around the um, mixolydian sound I, I taught you before and I finish with just this same scale the mixolydian one but this time I played through a tapping pattern. So this would be the scale. And this is the most tricky part because of the stretches. If you're not used to doing this, this kind of stretches, make sure that your thumb is at least halfway down the fretboard maybe even lower so you can have more space between your fingers because if you play this way you'll never get the stretches <clears throat> and this would be the scale and this would be the pattern Once again, slowly. Now, I'll play the whole lick slow. I'll play it fast again. So, I hope you enjoyed it and make sure you figure out those scales the mixolydian pentatonic and the lydian pentatonic and involve some some of those into your own playing uh, remember to visit my site where you can get the tabs for these I'll do some charts for those scales as well and see you next time for volume 5 bye <laughs>